All right, everyone, happy Tuesday afternoon. Uh, no big concerns across the passes here over the next few days. You might run into a patchy area of fog here or there, and that could produce maybe a few slick spots because of temperatures dropping near freezing. But I don't think that's going to be a huge issue this side of the mountains. I think east of the Cascades, more of a concern there. But school that side right now, looking at Awishka, uh, more the same. A lot of clouds throughout the day. Those clouds stick around here into the first part of the night. Maybe a few breaks of those clouds, especially as we head on into Wednesday. Speaking of Wednesday, High tomorrow, expected to be around the low 40s. We're going to keep more of the low 40s around Thursday, Friday, and it looks like now Saturday, too, as that push of cold Arctic air that's going to be modified, but as it heads southward, it looks like it's taking a little while longer before it arrives. So we're going to hold off some of that colder air until Sunday and more into the beginning of next work week is when we really start to see those temperatures reflecting that colder air mass that will arrive. Uh, the air mass right now pretty chilly across parts of the Rockies, 23 in Denver going farther north. Billings, 18, 17 in Rapid City. So that's where the core of it is. We're probably right there on the western edge of it. Probably expecting that to move a little farther off to the east, but generally still with that northerly component to the wind that we expect here over the next few days, uh, we're going to keep temperatures cooler than normal. Right now at 40 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, but with that calm wind, expect that to help to aid in some of the development of some of the fog that we'll have later on into the night as the air mass is not really going to be moving all that much at all. Clear skies closer to Shelton. We're already down to 35. Been holding into the mid 30s up there around Bellingham. We're at 35 right now. 37 in Mount Vernon. Uh, we're in the upper 30s. Good evening, Arlington right now sitting at 38 degrees. So the rain, uh, it's going to be confined to more the Oregon coast, and even at that, probably a few sprinkles with a weak, weak disturbance that's moving on through. Generally, that just means extra clouds here as we head on into the first part of the night. With that moving on out of here, high pressure, of course, beginning to take a little more of control again, heading into the day tomorrow, giving way to more sunshine. So for tonight, you'll see a lot of those clouds still sticking around parts of western Washington, and just enough moisture to squeeze out a few light snow showers here across the northern uh, Cascades. That moves out of here, so by early tomorrow morning, I think from areas uh, Snohomish County and northward, we're seeing a lot more sunshine to start off the day than what we're going to see farther south, where we're going to keep a lot more of the clouds in place, and then those will start to break down, and really that same pattern it's going to come for us heading into Thursday morning and Friday morning. Now, the setup, we're keeping an eye on this really cold air mass that's going to be coming in from the Arctic Circle. That will be diving southward. Those darker blues and some of those purples you see right there, that is the air mass that is continuing to sink southward. Still delayed to a certain degree. So now Monday we're seeing that just beginning to get across parts of the western North America coastline and then it looks like it's starting to dive a little farther off towards the east, maybe perhaps more so into Montana and into the northern plains as opposed to direct it right at us. So that might save us from some of the coldest temperatures, but with a few days out still uh, yet till we get to that air mass, it's going to be kind of up in the air as far as where exactly we do see it, but we do expect that things will cool down as we go later on into next week and we could even see a few slight snow showers to go along with that. We'll be back.